And I'm standing here with Adam Shremko, who is another longtime employee here, almost has been here as long as I have. And there are heroes in that piece. There really are. And I know your big hero is John Quill. Yeah, so tell us know, about John. Well, you know, and especially this day means so much uh, because he was the first meteorologist on the station. Now, he was hired here to be the first meteorologist, and they were waiting to go on the air. And it was this day, uh, 70 years ago, that he did his first uh, weather forecast on WWLP. And you can see, look at what they used <laughs> back in the day. I mean, we've seen this before, and, and in the years uh, we've seen this, but a lot of people may not have realized that this is how they did the weather. They had boards, they had markers, and they drew on these markers and uh, with these big uh, magic markers, and then they would erase it and change it. But there was no computers. There were no computers. His live Doppler radar was looking out the window. Yeah, that's pretty much it what really it was. was. I mean, you have to think about not only did the, the television technology was brand new, but even the technology that we used to forecast the weather was very primitive. We had very little to go on besides looking out the window and seeing <laughs> what was out there. I mean, the radar satellites, we have the ESP, Doppler, they had nothing like that. There were some radars that they were getting from uh, different areas and the Bradley Airport had, had radars and things like that, but they were very in the wow. early stages. But again, you can see just uh, how different it was way back in those days. And, and John Quill, one of his uh, things he would wear with that bow tie in the early <laughs> days, um, many people remember that as well. But then we had the more magic markers and those boards that would slide that had different maps on them that he would uh, draw the different weather features on uh, during his forecast. And you can see this is how, you know, we, we didn't have computers. There were uh, what we call these die fax printers that would print out all the information that we would look at to prepare our forecast. In fact, Amazing. we were still using that when I started back in the 90s yeah. on the mountain uh, yeah. using the, the paper, you know, before now everything's on the internet. Yeah. The internet was still pretty new back in those days. And John worked here for 47 years. 47 years. He actually years. came into this building right, right at the very end of his career. Yeah, exactly. He, he retired on his birthday in 2000, uh, you know, just after we moved here into Chicopee. So and Adam, as a tribute, I don't know if you can see it from so far away, but as a tribute, Adam wears the old 22 pin right here. In memory of him, because that was one of the things, you know, you, you guys, everybody used to wear them yeah. back in, in, you know, when I was growing up in, in the early days. And uh, he really cherished that pin. In fact, we had like a backup one in the weather center yeah. that if you forgot your pin, there was one <laughs> in a drawer that you could always put on. So I try to wear it uh, pretty much in his memory. So you know um, that if Adam's wearing the pin, he's thinking about John Quill, which uh, a lot of us <laughs> should do. There it is. There There's it is right there. How about shot that? Of that? I have one stuff. somewhere at home. I should have yeah. brought it today, but uh, <laughs> I do have one. It, it started to ruin my lapel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Use it all the different times. <laughs> when but you're here for a few years, that's exactly. what happens, right? So cool to remember John Quill and all the people who work here at 22 News, not only on the air, but also off the air as well. So many different people.